Ydy gwrw stem yr ôl na fideol? Right, eh, amser am ein sgwrs Skype oedd nosol ni nawr, a mae'n weir i weud, er o hannu fod un o wynebau mwyaf cyfarwydd y teledu a radio, hi hefyd yw un o ffans mwyaf Team Rygbi Cymru. Felly, gwrs ych ynys iawn, os gwrs fod yna, i Carol fod yma. Jy mae Carol croeso i'r raglen? Diolch yn fawr, Jyffy. Mae'n fantastig bod efo chi. Ei, a iawn, Carol, fod yma. Ei, a welon i ti ar iaith ar daith gyda Owain Wyn Evans. Nes ti fod nai hynna, ti dal yn defnyddio'r Gymraeg, pan ti'n gallu? Dyma drwy, Gwraig. Trwy'n treo am arfer, bob wythnos. Da iawn, da iawn, da iawn. I have to say, Carol, there's a bit of a gog coming out when you speak Welsh, to be honest. <laughs> That's because I am a gog. Have you always been a fan of, of, of rugby, or did you get on to it later on in life? Um, rugby got me onto Countdown, and the reason why is when I was a student, I worked in what's the, called the Electric Mountain in Snowdonia now, and my boss was a six-foot-six... Um, uh, second row from Headingley Rugby Club and he and I started going out with each other and so I used to start going to Leeds and then I really to watch him play for Yorkshire and for Headingley and then when I went I realised that the, the houses were cheap and mum and I were absolutely you know poverty stricken so I said we can buy a house in Leeds mum and so we moved to Leeds and three weeks later my mum saw the advert for Countdown in the local newspaper, oh. wrote my application for me, forged my signature, <laughs> sent it to the television company, and that's where it started. What, what's the best thing ab about going to, to the rugby there? Because uh, Derek Bevan, who was my referee coach for many years, he came up to Twickenham to watch me referee the World Cup final in 2015. When he came down the changing rooms afterward, he was more excited that he'd been watching the game with you in one of the boxes <laughs> in Twickenham as he was actually watching you referee the game. So uh, it, it's just the enjoyment of it all, isn't it? it is. <laughs> and it's just the excitement. And obviously when you're at the Principality or even anywhere really where, where Wales is playing, the singing. And it, like I say, it's this charge of electricity that comes through. Mm, I yeah. just love it. I absolutely love it. But I am very excitable. I can't, <laughs> can't see that. I can't see that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you were in one match where an historic event happened in Twickenham in 1982. Tell us what that historical event was. Well, I went there with my uh, second row, Andy, Andy Fraser, Your who was like the love, of, the love of my life in <laughs> Yorkshire. And we went down to Twickenham. And so we got to half time, and Andy goes, uh, proper Yorkshire, oh, I'm, I'm just going off for a, you know, get some beers. Off he goes. And then the crowd erupted, and it was Erica Rowe. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Erica yes. Rowe? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we remember a certain Erica. part of her body. <laughs> yes. And she ran around, and then the policemen were trying to like chase her around and cover <laughs> her assets with their helmets, you know, and all of this was her bones. And we were all cheering, and everything was going on. And then Auntie came back with the beers, you know, and she's going, what's the... What's going on then? There was a great story. During, during that match, Bill Beaumont was the English captain. And this was half time. She came running on. And then uh, he was giving his like, you know, big speech with the second half and all this. And all his players were ignoring him, looking <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> and he didn't realize what was happening. And then he said, Hey, boys, what's happening? Why aren't you watching? Why aren't you listening to me? And Steve Smith, the English scrum half, said, Well, Bill. There's a girl water running around over there with your bum on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> right, we get to hear you every Saturday morning on your show on Radio Wales. Um, you sound like you're having an absolute whale of a time. And Ian Goff, well, he's your kind of partner in crime. He's, he's a regular on it, isn't he? He is. I love our Goffy. And uh, in fact, Nigel uh, sat in was keeping my seat warm this Saturday lunchtime, weren't you, Nigel? And it's lovely and warm for you when you get back next week. Yeah. Yeah. Your job is safe, lovely Carol. You. Your job is safe. <laughs> <laughs> but Goffey and I, it was uh, the Wales-France game two years ago. 
and uh, we were in the Angel Hotel doing the show there before the game, and uh, Hooky was there, James Hook was there, Goffey, all this of it. So we had, you know, the atrium with the big staircase yeah, that yeah. goes like that. So we had this fantastic choir there, absolutely ramming, you know, every step on the on the staircase. So they sang, oh, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. And the producer says, come up to the top of the staircase to do the last link. So there was this security guard who went, uh, uh, we can't go up the stairs because the choir's there, we'll go in the lift. I don't know if you've ever been in the lift in the Angel Hotel. It's tiny. It's about the size of this chair. <laughs> in I get, Goffy, some former French player who's even bigger than Goffy, the security man, my friend Jules and Joe, the engineer. So there's six of us oh. in this tiny lift. Presses a button. We're on our roving mics. Presses a button. Nothing. Presses a button again. <gasps> uh, uh, what's happening? What's happening? I said, oh, it's, it won't go up. Maximum number of four in the lift. <sighs> right, open the doors. We'll do it there. Doors wouldn't open. <gasps> oh, nasty. God. I had a panic attack. We're broadcasting live on air from us stuck in the lift. Oh. And then we were there for an hour. Oh, oh my goodness. So oh. it was our fault. Not the angel. It wasn't their fault. It was our fault. Oh. We had to get the fire engine and the lift. <laughs> no way. Yeah, lovely. Just what, you want, on a, just what you want on a Saturday afternoon. So, <laughs> well, yeah. Carol. Diolch am fod gyda ni heno ac enjoy a gweddill a chwe glad. Thank you, Carol, so much. Join the Six Nations. <laughs> right, Donna, this is Nessa Grati. Oh, well, and all, let's pull a com. And, um, oh, my pet.